to expect it, but it's not out of the ordinary to expect Cyril perhaps to be able to 2 0 dark, so. This series could end in this uh, best of two. Let's hope not. I don't want to see an ace match between these teams. Am I being really just greedy today? I like, I want everything and more, you know? Today I'm like, I want this series, and then I want that series, and I want this to go to all seven games, and. Yeah, maybe I'm being a little bit greedy as a caster today. Maybe just a, a little, little teeny tiny bit. All right, my friends. So we have ourselves Doc in the top right. Cyril is in the bottom left. Doc in blue, Cyril in red, just in case you are not thoroughly watching, but want to glance back every now and then. As, ooh, 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 this is a sneaky one. One last Ioni, which has this gold base on the bottom half of the map. And Doc is going to sneak down the gold base straight away. So Doc already up to some shenanigans. And you know what? When it comes to ZVZ, the one thing I feel like Cyril fails against the most all kind of the shenanigans, right? The ZVZ kind of like hiccups that aren't quite the norm and builds out a little bit quirky. A gold base like that? That's the kind of thing I can see Cyril maybe having some trouble against. It's good because if you don't check for this with an overlord as Cyril, you don't really know it's happening for a very long time. And by then it might get to the point where it becomes a little bit too late to really try and like do something about it afterward. We shall see what is going on as we get ourselves set up right now. And a few drones are going to move out from the main base out down to the natural. And towards the center of the map in general here. As we get all of that on the run. Hatch, cast, and pool coming through. And yeah, the hatchery going to finish up on the gold base in a moment or so. The few drones continuing across in towards this gold. And they're going to get that saturated in the next couple of moments. So we get that straight into play. Couple queens, couple lings, couple drones, all getting established. The overlords on the way out as well. <clears throat> Everything as it should be for the early four minutes here. Nothing too crazy. Be coming up, the Rotron coming through. We do see a couple queens and the Overlord all coming out for a few moments. Just gonna have our Rotron coming up from dark. Obviously, means that with his gold base economy boosted, he can get to a few more roaches than you might usually see. That can be kind of exciting. Cyril doesn't know about the gold, he's gonna put a Rotron of his own down. It's just a question of can Cyril really deal with what is gonna be that boosted economy of dark? Dark's about to finish up Link Speed as well. Cyril's bypassing Link Speed, getting the lair on the way. I feel like Cyril might be a little bit exposed to those Lings when they, uh, come around, and I don't know if he's going to be that competitive when it comes to the Roach count either, so actually very intrigued as to how that goes. Dark will just open up this set of rocks. That means he can push on the top side of the map from this gold with his reinforcements that pop, uh, pop on the gold very easily, so that's obviously something you want to try and do, so he will do that. And job well done. I, I said job well done. <laughs> he just killed some rocks. The idea is good though, right? The idea is, is correct as several starts up a couple of spines with the lair on the way. He is going to be the more teched up player here. He just wants to try and wait this out a little bit. He just wants to try and wait this out a little bit as ropes come up, the spines coming through, the evo chamber coming up as well. And a lot of that on the way in. As we are going to see roaches, going to start hitting the evo chamber, start to pick through this uh, missile upgrade. Spine crawler wants to move to the front here, is going to be able to burrow. We actually double cancel the Evo Chamber until we're comfortable getting the Queens in the wall instead. The Evo Chamber here will go down. Dark will back away, does not want to fight Broodlings. I think Roach Carapace is still building up. The additional Extractor is on the way through as well, so we build up as much of this as we can right now. There's still more Roaches in the Queen. Just pressing forward a little bit. There's a lot of Ravagers that start up there as well, so they're going to also make their way onto play. Something else for us to keep an eye or two on is, you'll see the Queen's going to come forward. They're going to grab themselves an Overlord kill. It's a nice little catch. Nice quick cleanup. So, 
pushes this away then. Now, Cyril is up a lot of drones. Remember that Doc is obviously still in that gold base. Gold base will mine out a little faster as well. And also, Doc has a third. So, I think overall, Doc is still better set for the game, even if he's not maybe on the better drone count just yet. What's interesting is that Cyril is pushing, but because Doc knows this, he is already going into a lot more units of his own. So, I'm not sure how good Cyril's going to be here. You can see there's a lot of links coming down, and Cyril doesn't really have links of his own to protect this. This is going to look really bad. Cross of Vials can hit perfectly because the links lock the roaches in position. This is not good for Cyril. He's going to start losing a lot. The spine crawl trying to make its way across. And that's going to be GG's. Doc is going to take game number one off of Cyril. And it's just as easy as one, two, three. Which probably means it'll happen at the end of January based on the fact they usually delay it for some reason or another every single season. I don't think there's been a single season of WTL playoffs that have happened on the weekend they originally set aside for WTL playoffs. <laughs> so yeah, that that's my prediction. Mod lead. Map 2. Let's see what Cyril will bring out for us here. As we get ourselves a couple drones coming up on either side. Game number two of our best of two between these guys. Slowly dot dot dying because of my Reynol switch. Has Reynol been as like Reynol has just not been as good as he has been. I know for a fact he's not been practicing as much as well. <clears throat> I was saying he's gonna lose to here. I just. You know, I, I actually feel like usually I'd say Reynold would beat Hero. But I feel like right now it's it's more likely a 1-1 one, one or so, so... Yeah, Doc getting the first map against Cell seems pretty important in that regard. And then, you know, potentially gives him a really good chance down the line. Maybe you went dot dot on me though. Speed a few moments earlier from several. A very minor distinction between the two right now at the start of this game, too. As our link speed comes in on either side, a couple of queens coming up, some drones are building. And this started right now. The hatchery on the way as well, and Dark is going to match him. Hatchery from both. Right here. And Link's be coming through. The Bane Nest is already coming down. The Hatchery coming up as well. Drone's still on the way in. So we have our Queen's trying to chase down an Overlord for a couple of moments. Trying to push that right down to the bottom. Uh, There's a little bit of FPS dropping is on the clean feed, guys. Not sure what that is. But we will sit through it for the moment. So I can't really change what happened on the clean feed because this was in the past, so <laughs> I'm sure whatever it is, looks though it's already fixed. But sometimes that used to be an issue on the WTL feed actually. Sometimes it would just like lag for like a couple of moments, not even that long. Anyways, it just looks as though we're uh, resolved already. As the mainland nest is about to finish on the side of Dark Hatchery is still coming through. Protron, Hatchery all coming up, so Dark just going straight into Hatch-based aggression, it would seem. Several sees the Rotron build, no goes into a Rotron of his own. He doesn't build out the front, so I wonder if that's because he's afraid that Dark will get a little bit more momentum initially. And with that little bit more momentum, he wants to try and back away a little bit, and just sort of make sure the Rotron doesn't get killed, or if he just feels as though he doesn't need it at the front because he's going to Evo Chamber Wall anyway. And of course, now Cyril is obviously going to hide this Rotron, so maybe Dark... Not going to realize Cyril can build roaches. Could be kind of a big factor as well. Maybe bait Dark into doing something which maybe is not the actual ideal play. That, of course, is 
Always going to be something of a possibility in these scenarios. Missile upgrade coming up. Extra overlords and drones still pushing through. Last starts from Serral. Again, again, that missile upgrade start. And Doc is just building Ling Roach. He's been building some drones as well, though, so I don't think he's fully committed, but he's definitely going to fall behind on tech. As Serral already takes his chance to set up into the lair. Gets his tech on the way. Begins to build straight through on that one. As the Ling's pulling back, the lair is continuing in. A couple of Banelins will smash into a couple of Banelins. Queen goes down. Things will chase. One more drone gets picked up. We do have our last still producing through. Drones on the way, plus one missiles on the way. Bunch of additional spine crawls coming up from Serral. These extra roaches come in, the overlord speed coming up. Like I say, Serral is in a great spot because he really just realizes that he is that far ahead, and now he realizes he doesn't need the spine crawlers as well. He's like, okay, cancel those, and he's still just super far ahead on tech. Like, he was right to build the spines, his tech advantage is huge. But Dark is not actually, you know, committing to anything. Dark is not doing anything here that's looking to actually be that scary. Dark has just sat back himself. He has just found himself behind in every aspect because of the way this game has gone and the decisions they made earlier. I think Dark felt like he had to prepare for something initially, which never really came. Yeah, out around the right, we're just going to be seeing that plus two missiles and the road speed coming up. Drop Lord coming through as our plus two missiles and our carapace continue into play. Still just seeing our Spire building on the side of Darks. So again, that up and running, road speed coming through. So far, so good. There's a couple more crossbow bars come down. The Overlord still stays away for the moment, so just keeping out of reach. Drop a lot of Banelins. Dark has a queen towards it very quickly. A few drones are clumped. So we'll just continue to run in. A couple links on the right-hand side as well. Drop a lord. We're going to get some drones probably in the end. Wow, well, look back. I feel like that was the moment to look. This drop a lord is now low HP, but still has all four Banes inside. Not exactly ideal. Going to lose it with the Banelins inside still, aren't we? 110. Oh my god, we have to get three Banes out. And they're going to find some drones as they move about. Six drones in the end. Not bad, considering the fact that I think we're pretty ready to say that this was kind of a done and dusted uh, drop, and it was probably going to lose out on without doing anything. We actually make something happen on the end of it. Some more roaches coming over. The roach ravager is going to stand there and fight for a little bit. We do have ourselves the roach ravager going to push back as well. Overlord still taking some damage. Units moving around. Roaches and Ravages still coming up. And ourselves a uh, few moments of calm. And plus two missiles, carapace upgrade, everything on the way here is our Roach Ravage is going to break down at the front. Break in there for a couple of moments. Thank you very much. This game really starting to head into that more macro feel. We get Burrow and Tunneling Claws on the way, so Serral definitely looking towards a later stage. Dog gets to his muters, and we'll be able to utilize these. For it's some map control, you know, you knock down some of these overlords, you knock down some of that high ground vision, and so... It was good to be able to get rid of those as the Road Ravager starts to move through. A couple of of Biles. Oh, Landon gets center on Dog's army as well, so as Dog tries to do something with his Road Push, he gets told no, and just absolutely not. Doing more of Biles there. 
trying to knock in as well. I'm not going to find much. The meters will chase another overlord at least, but Serral's not going to be supply blocked or anything. I guess that doesn't come as too much of a surprise to see Serral still in a pretty adequate position all said and done here. And this is still just going to clean up a little bit. Obviously, Serral can't do too much without Hydra's on the map, but still a fair amount he can get done, I would say, at the moment. And he is, honestly, now borrowing up Roaches. It's going to be a little bit tougher for Dark, because Serral will have more aggression on Dark's side of the map than what Dark has had to face up until this point. Dark comes across, getting a couple more Roaches. Three more Spines. Coming through as well, still getting that plus two. Missiles on the way up. Rosa Bars dropping in all over. Roach Ravager continues through. Three drones going down. That's going to be seen a hatchery taking a few shots of damage. Roach Ravager going to fight back here from Dark. So we'll continue with a little bit more back and forth as actually Dark is going to push Serral away. Serral. Has got units in the main base of Dark as well, moving back towards the natural, just trying to find a little bit of something. <clears throat> trying to get this harassment somewhere. So far, not really succeeding in too much damage. I mean, all workers really ain't so bad. Dark killing a lot more than several in that last fight. Don't think that's too much of a surprise, is it? Don't think so. Hive coming up, look again on the way. Natri's still coming through. Our base coming in and just having ourselves the roach still firing up for a couple more dronies. Dark is gonna break through a set of rocks and we are gonna push back down to the bottom side. Straight in over here, a couple extra lurkers will get burrowed. Actually falls in the front, the couple of Bows still coming through. Look, taking some shots, Overseer taking some damage. Riches of Serral continuing to fight back. Roach is going to pop up, going to go straight towards the Roach Roran, so I'm just going to be able to knock that straight down. The rest of the Roaches from Dark still coming over. Spank Cole coming up. This army of several still runs around the right side. Dog drops a few more corrosive vials in. And several continues to chase. Being on alert, this is obviously a massive tech advantage. And suddenly, as Dog takes a bit of damage, he's going to lose a lot of this fight. Several might be able to get these lurkers a bit close towards the base, although maybe he doesn't want to because he's going to kill it anyways. And then he's just going to start backing up. And those lurkers were low. Would rather keep them guaranteed out of there alive than bring them forward for killing the base a few seconds sooner. Vibe is on the way from Dark. He's going to need those to help against the Lurks at this point. As Vibe has really can't arrive soon enough as Dark tries to push forward a little bit. The Lurks are edging closer and closer. If you survive this as Dark, you will have not just Vipers, but Lurkers of your own, so the game really settles into a much better state, but... We really need these Vipers right now. Here they come, and what are we going to do? First Blinding Clouds come down, so we'll just start splitting. Still has a good amount of Lurkers in position. More Blinding Clouds, he will reposition out of the Blinding Clouds. I just just moved too slowly and dark. You can see his supply plummeting here as Serral's attack is finding all of the value it wants and more. Looking very, very good here for Serral. Looks as though we are getting the job done. So Vipers coming through, Hydra's coming up, plus three missiles on the way. Vipers and Lurk is continuing now, Muscle Augment's coming in as well. Keep this on the run. Let's just see. I mean, several is a 40 supply. Dog's going to try and attack across the other side. 
trying to utilize the Vipers, but as he loses one of the few that he has, I don't think it's ever going to be enough. We drop another Blinding Cloud down. These Blinding Clouds just don't last forever, and the Hydras alone are looking pretty reasonable as we just continue through. GG's, and Serral is going to tie it one and one against Dark.